Hi, Phil Schoenberg, Fast Pitch Power. The process of applying to and getting into college is a very, very difficult one for any student. Now you add to that being a student athlete who not only has to pick a school, which is one of the most important decisions you'll ever make in your life, on the basis of geography, size, what kind of academic programs they offer, what the general personality of the population of the school is like. All these things are, are very, very difficult. It can be a very fun time, but it's also a very stressful time. When you're a student athlete, it becomes even more difficult because you're adding something else into the equation. You're adding into that equation your sport, what that team is going to be like, what the commitment is going to be like in addition to your responsibilities and obligations to go to school and get a good education, which should always be your primary concern. Your sport should be something that comes in and supports your decision. Obviously, in some cases, money is going to be involved. So that adds to the stresses even more. I've had an opportunity to talk to some college coaches lately, and we're talking now about, from our perspective, the students that we work with, who are mainly pitchers, and the particular group that I'm interested in today, and even though it may not apply to you today, it will certainly apply to you at some point in time if you aspire to be a college-level ball player. It's the uncommitted senior. This is a difficult time for the uncommitted senior. Fall ball, and most college coaches, if they don't tell you, I can tell you, most college coaches in the fall, because of their schedules, they do the majority of their recruiting during a certain window of time in the summer where they may be in numerous states and numerous regions, but in the fall, by and large, because of their schedules with their teams and the school has started, they're going to stay pretty local to where they are. And that gives them the opportunity to see the most number of players who are likely to be interested in their school. Let's face it, most players who live in the on the East Coast are not going to be going to school in California. So college coaches who are in a certain area want the opportunity to see the greatest number of players they possibly can in one location over a short period of time in the fall. So I had one of our students ask, gee, I'm, we are so confused. My team is going to tour a tournament in location A. But the two college coaches that I'm most interested in are going to be at a tournament in location B. What do I do? There's a cliche, there's no I in team. But this is the one time, in our opinion, this is the one time where you have to be primarily an advocate for yourself. If you are an uncommitted senior looking to solidify your college choices and you're going to have softball be a major component of that choice, you need to get that done now. And if that means that you need to hook yourself up with a different team on a particular weekend in a tournament where the college coaches that you know you're interested in and are interested in you are going to be in a different location than your team, then you need to go and talk to your coach and your program director and explain that. Any coach or program director who is involved with showcase softball should understand that at that point in time, with that kind of player, an uncommitted senior, that any opportunity they get to make their choice an easier one and one that leads to a definitive decision and commitment, that is an avenue or a road that they must travel down or pursue. So at this time of the year with fall ball, understand that the schools that you're interested in 
are the schools that you need to be in front of if you are as yet uncommitted. And if it creates a conflict with your team, don't be afraid to go and talk to your coach and talk to your program director, and I'm sure that if they are designated as a showcase program that they will understand that this is what you need to do and where you need to be. It's been a long time since I personally have been involved in coaching at the team level. But when I did, I always tried to have alliances with other teams in my area and region that I could go to and say, the two coaches that Sally is interested in are going to be at the tournament you're at this weekend. Do you have any players who are interested in being at the tournament we're at this weekend and switch and exchange players? It happens quite often. So try not to make this more stressful than it already is. Trust your coaches and your program directors to understand that at this point in time your perspective needs to be a little bit selfish. That way you'll be able to get from point A to point B, which is identifying the school that you want to go to and making sure that if there's an opportunity for you to play there, that you've given yourself the best opportunity to be seen by and recruited by those particular coaches or that particular coach. I hope this has been useful to you. Love to hear what your experiences are on this and don't think that just because you're not a senior this year, that this may not apply to you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Talk to you next time.